So have you guys ever wanted to have world edit in your pocket mine server world? Well guys, you came to the right video guys. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a world edit plugin. So let's get started. Yo, yo, what's going on there lads and lasses? It's me, your boy Techno T. And in today's video, I have of course a video for you guys on a plugin known as Builders Tools. The download link for this plugin will be down in the video description below, so check it out there. Now, this is basically a world edit plugin, and this is brought to you guys by the Discord server because there was a lot of you guys who wanted to have a review done on this plugin. And by the way, if you guys want to join in the Discord, link will be down in the video description below where I can help you with your server. You can also request for reviews on plugins in the future so anyway let's get right into the video so guys the first command i'm going to be showing you is how to get your world edit wand now the command works like this and most of the world edit stuff work like this so keep this in mind you want to have double slash so do double slash wand and there we go we have our world edit wand right here so let's say i wanted to copy this castle right well this wand helps so here's what i mean so if I left click on the first position, so that's my first position of where I want the selection to start, and I move diagonally in a square pattern all the way over to, let's say, right here, and right click. As you can see, it selected my second position. So if I do slash slash copy, I have copied this whole structure right here. Okay guys, so after we have selected the item that we wanted to copy, we're going to copy it over here. We're going to do slash slash paste and the position where you're standing will be the edge over here. So as you can see, we just copied in my castle from all the way over there, right there, over here. And this comes in handy a lot of times. Like you don't know how many times I was building something and I needed to duplicate something. And let's say I wanted to get rid of it. Simple. Do slash slash undo. And as you can see, it just took that away. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to clear an area. This especially comes in handy when, let's say, I wanted to get rid of this, right? Let's say I wanted this gigantic ditch over here. Well, you can actually do it by, we're going to first left click on our first point, which is going to be the point all the way down there. And then we are going to right click the point that we want over here. As you can see, I selected two points, so one below and one above. So do slash slash fill and then do air as you can see it got rid of all these layers and the amount of time that it would have taken if I had done this all by hand would have been like really long so the next command I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to replace blocks so let's say I have this gigantic wall right here it's so huge I know and I wanted to change it from cobblestone to stone or maybe a different block well what we're gonna do first is we're gonna left click on our first point and then right click on our last point. As you can see, I made a square selection and we're gonna do slash slash fill and then we're gonna do stone. And there we go. It just changed this cobblestone wall into a stone wall. Okay, so the next little command I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do is how to create shapes. So first, we're gonna start with a cube. So we're gonna do slash slash cube and we're gonna put it as cube one. And if I break out of here, cause it's not hollow. And as you could see, we made this gigantic cube over here. So this can actually be very, very useful if you wanted to just build, let's say a hollow structure. With that, we can actually make a hollow cube by doing slash slash H cube. We're gonna put number one. And as you can see, I am inside of a hollow cube. I created this hollow cube right here. Now, of course, you can change the dimensions of it. I just set it to the regular dimension. Let's say I also wanted a pyramid. Do slash slash pyramid, or you can do H pyramid, which will create a hollow one, but I'll just do a regular pyramid. The difference is if you do the H in front, it becomes a hollow object. So we're gonna do one. As you can see, we just created a pyramid right here on top of our little house right here. So let's say I wanted to create a sphere. You could do slash slash sphere. We're going to actually make this hollow. So I'll do H sphere and then we're going to put one. And as you guys can see, that actually made a sphere. I just had to crack out of it. So that's why I had to cut it there. Let's say we wanted to clear our inventory because actually this plugin will allow you to clear your inventory slash slash clear inventory. 
and to cleared our inventory the next command let's say i wanted to take this right here there are commands to like let's say flip them if you do slash slash flip you can actually flip it we're gonna move on to the next thing uh, and that is schematics with this plugin it will allow you to load in schematics big disclaimer so the way you get schematics is you go to minecraft schematics.com by the way link will be down in the video description below and that's where you get all your schematics also another thing that i wanted to say is if you are loading in minecraft schematics note that there will be schematics that are big that your computer or your server won't be able to handle for example i have a small schematic in my schematics folder but if i put anything bigger like let's say a sky wars map my minecraft server terminal will say that i need more ram dedicated to it and i won't be able to join the server in that case you would need to drag out the schematic so if anybody's having that problem i've said it here in the video sometimes you might have to dedicate more memory to your server to get more schematics in. So to get schematic inserted into your Minecraft server, here's what you're gonna need to do. You wanna copy that schematic from your downloads folder and you wanna go to your server folder. You wanna click on plugin underscore data. And then from there, you wanna click on builders tools. And then from there, there should be a folder called schematics. And that is where you are going to be pasting your Minecraft schematic. What we're gonna need to do is if you wanna load in that schematic, you're gonna need to do slash slash Skem, and then you're gonna need to do load and then the name of your schematic I have a fountain so the file name is font as you can see I have successfully loaded the schematic in now to paste it do slash slash skem paste as you can see my schematic loaded in now I chose a pretty basic schematic just for the fact that my server wouldn't let me put in any more because I only dedicated one gig of RAM so usually any bigger schematics, you're gonna need to dedicate four or even like six gigs of RAM to it, depending on how big the schematic is. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for me in this video. Just a quick little overview on this. By the way, if you guys did enjoy this video and found this video very helpful, I would massively appreciate it if you guys would hit that like button. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me in this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace, guys.